Hello, Aries, and welcome to your October 2020 monthly reading. This is for Aries. Aries, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries, this is for you. If this resonates with you, Aries, please like, share, and subscribe, and leave me a comment. Make sure you hit the thumbs up button for me. I would greatly appreciate it. If this does not resonate with you at all, Aries, please do check your moon, your rising, and your Venus sign, as this will not resonate with every Aries out there. Please keep in mind that some of the energies can be vice versa or interchangeable. So however it resonates with you. This is for Aries. This is for Aries. What is going on with Aries? What is going on with Aries? All right. Very nice. Very, very nice. Okay, so you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. Um, we're, we're, we're still getting, working through some toxic energy, but man, well, you're coming out stronger, okay? You're coming out stronger. There's new situations brewing for you. Um, Definitely a divide, uh, divinely guided situation coming in. Uh, beautiful cards over here. A little difficult right here, but it's looking really good. So Queen of Swords, you could be dealing with an air sign or somebody with strong air in their chart. Um, this could be you. Um, getting rid of a lot of toxic energy right now. And shedding that skin, okay? Negative thoughts, negative people, moving away from all of that, looking for something more stable and solid. And I tell you, man, you're coming out a lot stronger than you ever have been. Most definitely able to resist the past here. So Queen of Swords has been through a lot. This could definitely be your energy, cutting out a lot of negative people. All right, so let's see what's going on. You're headed towards some happiness. Nine of Cups is one of the happier cards in the tarot. Wish fulfillment. That is what you are heading for. And you're following your heart to some someone that is uh, a lot more stable than where you have been, Aries. God knows. Right? So you got some wish fulfillment and some happiness coming your way. And there you are. Right? Um... You're going after the things that you want. Um, whoever this is coming in, there's a lot of attraction there. You want this, okay? Um, this person's uh, going to show you interest, and it's going to be well-received by you. So, King of Wands, right? You could be dealing with another fire sign or somebody with strong fire in their chart. But I just feel like, Aries, you're feeling like your old self again, right? Or you soon will be. And you're kind of getting back on that horse and going after the things that you want. And we got some new energy coming in that is um, very good for you. Very good for you. New love offers here coming in. Not only the Knight of Cups, but the Page of Cups is here on the table. And so this is somebody bringing you some love, Aries. So that's very nice. Love offers coming in for Aries. And it's good. That lover's card keeps popping up in quite a few of these monthly readings. So I'm very happy about that. This is water energy. Okay, so Aries got some love coming in. You've got some good love coming in. All right, Aries. I'm going to read the energy of the cards. If the sign of the person that you are dealing with, have dealt with, will be dealing with in the future, 
If their sign pops up, all the better. Keep in mind, time is fluid. Keep in mind, um, some of these energies can be vice versa, interchangeable, cross watchers, right? It's a general reading, so you assign the roles as you wish. So, what is messing with your stability right now? Because the King of Pentacles has his eye on stable situations. Is this Devil card. Now, you could be dealing with a Capricorn, right? Or somebody with strong Capricorn in their chart. You could be dealing with an Earth sign or somebody with strong Earth in their chart. But the way I'm seeing this is King of Pentacles, male or female, the energy like stability and i feel like that's where your mind is headed you want stable offers you want to give stable offers you want to receive stable offers you want to be in a stable long-term situation so you're you're in that state of mind but what is blocking this stability is a lot of toxic energy still around you okay and i feel like it's kind of hindering you moving forward at this moment at least though you are figuring out what you want and i i feel like you got someone in mind here because you are following your heart here and there the lines of communication are going to be opening up between you and this new energy here so that's good but you still got some residual toxic energy that you're kind of fighting through right now and that's okay i feel like there is somebody that um and this always comes up for y'all tries to manipulate you emotionally a little bit tries to keep you chained to them stuck on them kind of a thing with this queen of cups energy um but you could be dealing with a water sign or somebody with strong water in, in their chart. But the thing is, uh, Aries, I feel like this could also be your energy and trying to follow your heart here, follow your intuition, because that's what the Queen of Cups does. But I do feel like there is an emotional manipulator around you or simply thoughts of the past kind of hindering you, but you're working through that beautifully and you're most headed towards some beautiful energy here. Page of Wands. I feel like a um, couple of things with this card. I feel like you found out some information that's going to help you release you from toxic energy. Okay, you're just going to leave it behind. You've seen all you need to see to kind of let it go. And that's a good thing. And whatever you found out, you realized how toxic it really was. And this, you know, it's a process. It's a process. You know, you can't just shut off your feelings just like on a, in an instant. It, some things have to be worked through, especially if there's somebody around you or thoughts of somebody still with you trying, you know, slowing down this process. But that's, you know, that's okay. We're working through that. You're working through that. Like I said, you're coming through as the strength card here, and we'll get to that in a minute. So you've realized a lot, you've learned a lot, and you're stronger than ever right now. So that's a good thing. Um, so Page of Swords. Another thing with this card is um, I think... I think you've kind of spotted somebody that you're interested in. And I think, um, you know, you, you want those lines of communication to open. And I think you're going to make it happen, especially since you're feeling um, like yourself again. Okay, so the lines of communication are opening. And I feel like you, you've been checking this person out, this new energy. Okay, so... I feel like in the near future, there is the potential for uh, commitment here. There is the potential for celebration. There is the potential for a divine interaction. Okay. Um, and there is the potential for commitment here in the near future. Four of wands, that is fire energy. What is crowning this Aries is the Knight of Pentacles. This has been a slow moving situation. This love offer, these lines of communication between you and this person, I feel like you've taken your time, you checked them out and everything, but it's just been slow. <laughs> been a slow process, and it's been a slow process for you to shake all this um, toxic energy here and, and, and really, truly cut all that out, and for you to be on top of your game again. But 
Aries, you are on top of your game. And that's a very good thing. So Knight of Pentacles, um, sincere, not, you know, not only new love offers coming in, but sincere and real. So this is good. This is genuine love. <clears throat> genuine love for Aries. So I like that. All right. So like I was saying, you're coming through as the strength card here. You could be dealing with the Leo or somebody with strong Leo in their chart, but you got this. You've got this. You are on top of your game. You're feeling stronger than ever, more courageous than ever, and you've learned a lot, right? Definitely a lot of spiritual growth here and a lot of lessons learned. These lines of communication are going to be opening up between you and this person, this new person, this new person that you've kind of had your eye on. So maybe they've had their eye on you too. So I bet they have. Page of Cups, so the love lines are open. So, and I think uh, you're going to really enjoy that in your hopes and fears. You're hoping it's honest. You're hoping it's true. You're hoping it's real. You're hoping it's successful. You're hoping this person is 100% um, honest with you because you are more than ready to be very open and honest with them. And I feel like this will be successful with that Ace of Swords. You've realized a lot. You've had your epiphany moments. You are awake. The lovers, right? That is the outcome here. You're following your heart, Aries, to a divinely guided situation. You are being guided towards this new individual. And they are being guided towards you. It's time for the two of you to finally come together in this 3D reality. Please clarify the lovers for Aries. Please clarify the lovers for Aries. Oh my God. This is fate. This is destiny. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? The wheel of fortune is turning here for you, Aries. Look at this. Is that not beautiful? I told this is a divinely guided situation. This is what's supposed to be happening. Okay. The angels are with you on this one. Your ancestors are with you on this one. It's like, <laughs> I want to say this, this may sound kind of strange, um, but it does happen. <laughs> Um, it's like, you know, uh, there are talks going on in, uh, in other dimensions and there's, there's angels and your ancestors, like I was saying before, making this thing happen for you. Okay. Um, you, you, I feel like you've paid your dues, Aries, right. And you've learned your lessons. And I feel like those that, um, I want to say we can't see, know that, and and they're they're creating all of these little things. They're clearing a path here. They're clearing a path so you and this person can finally come together. That's what I want to say, and that's really sweet. That is so beautiful. So things are changing here. Um, you've paid your dues, and now it's time. For for some happiness for Aries. And I feel like that's what your angels and your ancestors are saying. That's what the universe is saying to you. Okay. Um, man, what an outcome that is. All right. This is for Aries. Let's pull some romance angels cards. What is going on with Aries? What is going on with Aries? What is going on with Aries? New love, right? Healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So I feel like 
that's where this is coming in. This is what you're shaking off right now and you're moving past this. What are you moving on to? This new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings and this is, it's literally heaven sent. That's what I want to say here. This new love is literally heaven sent. Aries. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? I love that for you all. And that I think that's going to be the title of this video. This new love is heaven sent. Let's, let's, let's do that. Aries, excellent reading. Um, I love it. And I hope it resonates with my Aries moon, right? I hope this resonates with my Aries moon. <laughs> All right, y'all. I am going to get off here. I hope you are having a great day. I hope this resonates with some of you, most of you, all of you. And uh, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can now follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. And I will leave all of those links and all of that information down below in the description box. All right, Aries. Next week, I'm going to be working on the How Do They Feel About You reading. So check those out. And Aries, what else? For those of you that are new, welcome. And I do have a weekly schedule. And I do have a live schedule. The weekly schedule will let you know when your weekly reading will be released. And the live schedule, I usually go live every day. But Saturday around noon Eastern Standard Time. That information can be found down below in the description box or in the About section of my channel. You guys have a fantastic October and a great week and a beautiful day. And I hope you're staying happy and healthy out there and taking very good care of yourself. All right. I will talk to you soon. God bless.